Welcome back to another episode of the Harbor Kids Variety Hour. We've got a great show planned for you, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. First, here's sing-alongs with Bruce and Friends. Okay, guys, are you ready to sing? Yeah, let's do it. All right, the first song up is He is Able. Lead us in, Hans. Hans! Hans! What? What do you want? And why are you all standing in the sing-alongs position? Wait, is it time for sing-alongs? Yes! Okay, hold on, let me get my bookmark. Okay, here we go. He is able, he is able, I know he is able, I know my Lord is able to carry me through. He is able, he is able, I know he is able, I know my Lord is able to carry me through. He heals the broken hearted. And he sets the captives free. He made the lame to walk again. And he caused the blind to see. He is able. He is able. I know he is able. I know my Lord is able to carry me through. And the next song we'll sing is God is so good. We'll sing, Jesus Loves the Little Children. Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world. Red, brown, yellow, black, and white, they are precious in his sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. Jesus died for all the children, all the children of the world. Red, brown, yellow, black, and white, they are precious in his sight. Jesus died for all the children of the world. So, what's that you're reading there, Hans? Captain Good News, issue four. Captain Good News? What's that? You've never heard of Captain Good News? The crime-fighting Harborville hero of all time? No, I can't say that I have. Well, let me show it to you. One sunny day in downtown Harborville, a local newsie was hawking the day's headlines. Extra, extra, read all about it. Major League Dietitian suspended for not juicing. The Good News Beacon! I must get back to the Bible Cave now! Meanwhile, at the Bible Cave... So what is this mission about, Butler? Patience, Bible boy. I'll brief you two when Captain Good News gets back. I'm back! I came as soon as I saw the beacon! Excellent, Captain Good News. I've got an important mission for you and Bible boy. Slap Girl has returned. Slap Girl? Great googly moogly! I thought we threw her in that prison in the Bahamas! Evil never takes a vacation, Bible boy. 
Intelligence reports that Slap Girl is plotting to take over Harborville. Your mission is to sneak into her lair, steal the blueprints to her evil plan, and destroy them for good. Sounds like a plan, Butler. Bible boy, your job will be to distract Slap Girl while the captain sneaks behind you and retrieves the plans. Then both of you can escape and Harborville will be saved. But, but I can't do that. I can't distract, distract Slap Girl. She'll slap me silly. Besides, my improv skills are next to, uh, nothing. Don't worry, Bible boy. You can use the generator of distraction on your communicator. Press this button right here and Slap Girl will be distracted. Now hurry, both of you. There's not a second to lose. Meanwhile, in her lair, Slap Girl prepares to take over Harborville. Ha ha ha! My plan is foolproof. And there's nothing those two do good as Bobble Boy and Captain Goodies can do about it. I'll just set my plans down for safekeeping. Hello, Slap Girl. Bravo Boy, where's Captain Good News? Um, he's, uh, he's, uh, playing mini uh, golf at the laundromat. Uh, uh. What? Dra, I knew this wouldn't work. What would it work? I've had enough of this. Time for a slap attack. Ah, ah. Remember, use the generator of distraction. The Bible cave. Great job, you two. Harborville is saved. And it's all thanks to the generator of distraction. Oh! oh! You're right, Hans. There's something about this Captain Good News. I like him. Yep. Okay, time for the news. Here, Reggie, here you go. Ah! Don't hurt me, don't hurt me! Oh, it's just you. Here your stories. Thank you. I'm Reggie, and this is the news. Our first story, the International Burrito Toss Competition has kicked off today. Athletes from around the world have gathered to see who can throw beans, rice, and rice wrapped in tortillas the farthest distance. <coughs> nice throw. Save you for later. In other news, a chim chimpanzee has broken out of the Harborville Zoo, taking only his favorite meal, red grapes. The chimp, whose name is Nuku, grabbed a red grape and climbed out of his enclosure in the process, his fruit was scratched on the fence, causing some of the peeling to come off. Eric A., the zookeeper who cared for Nuku when he was young, says Nuku actually prefers his grapes peeled, but he is not able to peel them himself. Nuku was last spotted making his way down 29th Street in Harborville. Here is the footage. Stay tuned for more updates on this escaped ape with a scraped grape. Thank you, I'm Reggie, and this has been the news. Hey, man. Ah, uh, hey, Reggie. Don't, don't you have a question to ask me? What's up? Uh, it's time for Bible Word of the Day. Are you ready? I don't know about all that. I'm going to bounce. Catch you on the flip side. Hey, Bruce. What's today's Bible Word of the Day? But, but you, what, you would just, who was that? Who was who? 
You, it was, you, it... Bruce, what's today's Bible word of the day? The, uh, uh, what? Oh, the Bible word of the day? Uh, uh, today's word is omnipresent. Omnipresent means everywhere at the same time. Mm hmm. So, God is the only one who is omnipresent. Uh, God is everywhere at the same time, at all times. I wish I could be everywhere at the same time. I don't. There could be a Reggie here, a Reggie there, a Reggie there. Just found this burrito behind a desk. Is it cool if I eat it? All right, back to the burrito. One morning, Moses was feeding his flock of sheep on a mountain. On this mountain, Moses saw a bush that was burning with fire, but the bush was not destroyed. Moses thought to himself, I will go and see why this bush is not burnt. As Moses turned toward the bush, God called out to him from the bush and said, Moses, Moses! Do not come any closer. Remove your shoes from off your feet, for you are standing on holy ground. Moses removed his shoes and bowed down before the bush because he was afraid to look upon God. God said, I have heard my people's cries about being slaves and have seen their tears. I have come down to deliver them from the hand of the Egyptians and will bring them to a good large land flowing with milk and honey. I will now send you to Pharaoh that you may bring the children of Israel out of Egypt. Moses knew that leading the Israelites away from Pharaoh would be a very difficult job, but God said, surely I will be with you. Moses was also afraid that the people would not believe him or listen to him, but God said, I will be with you and will give you power to show signs to the people that they may believe that I, the Lord God of their fathers, have appeared to you and have sent you. Finally, Moses feared that he was not able to do the task because he was not a good speaker. But God said, I will be with you. I will be with your mouth and will teach you what you should say. Still, Moses hesitated and asked God to send someone else. Then God said, Your brother Aaron can speak well. He is coming to see you now. Aaron will be the spokesman unto the people. I will be with his mouth and with your mouth and will teach you what you shall do. So Moses took his wife and his sons and headed to the land of Egypt. At this time, God spoke to Aaron and told him to go into the wilderness where Moses was traveling to meet his brother. So Aaron went and met Moses. Then Moses told Aaron all of the words of God who had sent him. So Moses and Aaron went to Egypt and gathered together all of the children of Israel. God was with them as Aaron spoke, and Moses showed signs in the sight of all the people. The children of Israel believed all that was said and shown. When they heard that the Lord had visited them and seen their affliction, they bowed their heads and worshipped him. So, you're a Reggie from an alternate dimension? You got it, Daddy-o. So, uh, are you staying here? Because, uh, there's not really a job for you here. <laughs> no offense to you cats, but I'm headed back to my home. It's much cooler. Oh, so it's a cold climate? Nah, see ya.
Okay, well, uh, that's going to do it for today's episode. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your week. Bye!